So yesterday we talked about Darwin and how he came about his theory of evolution through natural selection. So today we're going to talk about how species actually survive instead of go extinct. So, um, especially when their environments are changing. So natural selection is the process uh, by which populations of organisms with variations, and these variations are inherited. There are differences or mutations in their DNA. Um, and these variations can either help them survive their environment or make it worse for them. So nature actually selects which variations a species will use in order to adapt to its ever-changing environment. So environments have always changed. So, um, and then those, those over generations, it gets selected. So that's natural selection. So over several, many generations, um, this variation gets selected as the new adaptation. All right. Um, types of, uh, Adaptations are structural, behavioral, and functional, and I'll hit those on the next slide. And then adaptations based on environmental interactions between organisms. Mimicry, where a, one species resembles another one to trick the predators. So you'll see a picture of a caterpillar that actually the coloring looks like it's a snake. So its predators are like, oh no, not going to mess with that. And then camouflage, which is what you guys are going to work with as your assignment today. So camouflage enables a species to blend into its environment. So this page from your book shows you the structural adaptation. So the jackrabbits have really powerful back legs and they're able to run really fast. So their structure allows them to get away from predators. Behavioral, you'll see the one hunkered down trying to get in a shaded spot and just laying very still? Well, first of all, a lot of times organisms will lay really still so that you don't notice them as much, especially if they're camouflaged to a certain degree. But it also allows them to stay cooler. So this jackrabbit is trying to stay cooler and use less energy because when you use energy, you heat up. So like when you guys run, you heat up and you start sweating. So if he uses less energy he can cool down and stay cool. And then functional, look at those ears. Those blood vessels in that jackrabbit's ears, you can really see them because they're expanding trying to cool the blood since they're actually in a desert type um, biome. So here are some adaptations. Um, if you can see in the first picture, you're looking to see if you can find that seahorse. You see him? He blends in very nicely with that coral, doesn't he? And then there's that caterpillar whose coloring makes him look like a snake. All right, so today's activity is going to be you being creative and coming up with an insect that you camouflage somewhere in your home. So what I did was I selected a place that I wanted to camouflage, camouflage it to. And then I actually um, looked up some different insects that are common in Indiana so I could use a shape. So I used a shape that's kind of like a stink bug, an Indiana stink bug. <laughs> but then I modified its coloring um, to match the item that I wanted to hide it in. So um, the procedures are here. Pick your place, then decide what material you're going to use. I use just a piece of computer paper and a black marker, but I will attach um, a video for making Play-Doh. I don't think you'll need to make a whole batch, so you could half it. You could, you could use mash, math and do your ratios. Do math and do some ratios and make it like a half, a half, of a recipe or something. So I want you to have fun and be creative and then take a picture of it when you're done. Take a picture of your camouflaged insect, write your name on it, and then submit your picture to Google Classroom. I am so excited to see what you guys come up with. So have a little fun with it, all right? On the next slide I have um, a, what I did, an example of what I did this morning. 
So here's my example. Can you see him? I think he turned out kind of cute. So um, that's a little storage box that I have, and so I wanted to use that because I thought that would be a fun pattern to work with. All right, have fun and submit those and make sure you put your name on it. See, I put my name over there. So make sure you get your name on it. Have fun and I look forward to seeing your creativity today.